everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. And Madison. and Madison. Welcome back to my channel. So today, I am going to do my top 10. My top 10 eyeshadows, favorites and fails uh, that I got in 2020. And I'm going through my eyeshadows and I'm like, yeah, I know I've had more eyeshadows. Um, but I did a big purge. And obviously I kept my favorites and surprisingly, can you shut the door? The cat's coming in. Surprisingly to me, I have a lot of ones that I thought weren't great as well. So before I do that though, I did get some mail today. Um, so I got this and this is your, you know, we all know it's the top box box. So I was wondering when I looked at it and I thought Madison's saying hi. I was wondering if it was um, our top box because we should be getting that next week because the day is Friday the 13th, right? So didn't get the top box yet. So when I got it, I'm like, oh, I got a mission, another mission. I haven't, I got one a few days ago, the L'Oreal toner thingy for your hair. And I was really surprised because it's been a long time since I got a mission. And I got another one. And this is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. And it's an eye gel cream. So, you know, I always say just keep on doing your surveys. It was, it's been months since I've gotten a mission. And I've gotten two this week. And I think they're sending out a lot of missions to a lot of people um, from what I've seen on our Facebook page. So just keep on doing the surveys. Like, don't give up. I mean, some people do surveys for a year before they get something. And then when they do, they might get three at a time. You don't know, right? And some people, you know, just sign up and get a survey the week later. It's just luck, you know? So, and the points mean nothing. It means absolutely nothing. I don't know why they have points. It don't mean anything. But anyway, it's just luck. And I got some mail. And I gotta show you, Miss Erin, thank you so much, Miss Erin, your darling. Um, I had mentioned on one of my videos, we got an oil from Top Box a couple of months ago. I think it was in the Lux box. And it was this one. This oil? No, this one here, baby girl. Mm. This is the um, Professional Sebastian Dark Oil. And we got this, I believe it was in Lux box in September. I love this oil. Like, love it. It does amazing wonders to my hair. And my hair is, like, I still haven't got a hair trim yet. Really, really, really dry at the ends. But I find I put the oil in. My hair looks really nice and shiny. Um, love this. And I mentioned it on my video. And Aaron reached out and said, hey, she just got a pixie haircut. So she don't need the oil. And asked if I wanted it. I'm like, yes, I would love it. So she sent this. And this is all I was expecting. And she got this bag full of stuff. So I just want to give a big shout out show you what she sent because if you watch me for like you know longer than two videos you know that i love hair mask and leave-in conditioners so she sent me these two packs and i love mark anthony's products as well for your hair this is a deep restore aloe vera uh, conditioning treatment and she sent me two of these so you don't know how excited i am to try these out Never tried this before. I love the brand Mark Anthony. It's really good. It's a pharmacy brand. You don't know need to go and buy the expensive hair stuff. You know, Mark Anthony, Walmart, great, great brand for hair, right? Especially if you know you got long hair, dry hair, you dye your hair. Really, really good stuff. So that was in the little bag she sent me. She sent me this from Karas Karastis. Kara? Crest. I don't know how to say it. This is a blow dry care for dry hair. Oh, it's a nourishing milk. And I like this brand. I actually have like a leave-in conditioner from this brand. I think it's this here brand that we got from BoxyCharm last month. So I'm excited to try that. And like the girl just went a little bit nuts in this bag. Thank you, Erin. She spoiled me. Um, I wasn't expecting it and I'm so grateful and I'm so thankful, you know, I just, I'm so thankful. Um, Caudalie, how did you know that I love this? I love this stuff. The Caudalie Vino Perfect Radiant Serum. I love a glow. This is one of my favorites. I absolutely love this. 
um, she sent me another hair balm, the Wonder Balm. Love that. And a leave-in conditioner from Quay. I think it's pronounced as Quay. Love that. So, Erin, oh my God, darling, you just brightened up my day when I opened up this bag. It's always nice to get mail on a Friday. It's like it just starts the weekend off so great. And I just, I'm so thankful. Thank you so much, Erin. That was so kind and thoughtful Thank of you. you. I'm so thankful, and I'm going to use every one of these. Absolutely love it. Okay, so it has been a crazy year. 2020 has been, has been, has been. Okay, Lisa, get with it. Uh, first of all, I can't do this. I mean, I know they look nice and stuff like that, but I just feel like, I don't know, I, I'm looking at an alien in the camera. Like, I just, I just can't today. Hey, but they're pretty, and I tried. Very, very nice lashes. They are lash scoop. Um, I just have to get used to me having them on. I just feel like I can't see or something. Anyway, 2020 has been a crazy year. I mean, we got COVID. Um, you know, some famous people passed away this year. Kobe Bryant, Alex Trebek. Um, something else happened before COVID, and I can't remember what it was. Who? I don't know who that is. Um, something, else, I can't remember, but it's just been a crazy 2020, right? And if <laughs> in regards to COVID, oh my goodness, looking at the numbers here in Ontario... I don't know if 2021 is going to get any better, honestly. They're saying that the numbers are going to go up really, really bad. People are thinking maybe we're going to go on lockdown again, like a really, you know, big time lockdown. Um, I guess we'll see what happens. But it's just been an, a crazy year. Like, a, just a, a, a year, you know, that you think you would see in the movies kind of thing, right? Anyway, so here's hoping that 2021 is going to get better. Um... I'm banking on 2022, to be honest, but, you know, we'll get through it. We got through this one. We'll get through the next one. You know, just get up every morning and, you know, have a shower and put on your makeup, and that's your day, you know? You just get up and you go, and that's what we do as women, right? We get up and we go. But in regards to makeup, there's been some amazing makeup that came out this year. Um, eyeshadow palettes in particular, because that's what this video is about, eyeshadow palettes. So I'm going to start with my least favorite and go to my absolute favorite. Okay. So, and again, there's there probably could have been more eyeshadow palettes in this video. Um, oh, crackers, Madison. I just dropped one under my chair. I have no room on my desk. Oh, my goodness. No room. I just, like, it's literally... Wait. I'm, here. Warning, Actually, I got it. does not affect anybody. Right. Okay. Okay. You could, you could just, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to start with my worst, right? Number 10. And I didn't do a video on this eyeshadow palette. I actually just purchased it. And let me tell you something. I started making a video on this eyeshadow palette, and it was just terrible. Absolutely terrible. And it's this. This is Elf. It's one of their Christmas sets. It's $20 at Shoppers Drug Mart. Oh my goodness. Let me show you. And I was, I did a video on it and it was, I just had to stop because it just seemed like it was so negative because everything was poopy. You know, it, it's not good. And Elf has been like kicking butt this year. Really kicking butt in the last couple of years. They're coming out with amazing things. You know, they're bite-sized duos. Um, then their bite size eyeshadow palettes are really good. You know, they got good skincare. They've been coming up with some great stuff, right? I can't wait to try the cream blushes. Um, if anyone knows if you can get those in Canada. And the Milani cream blushes. If you know if you can get those in Canada, let me know. I want to do a video on that, a review. Anyway, this is the eyes. I don't know why they got eyes, lips. I guess that's what elf means. Oh, I didn't know that. Elf means eyes, lips, and face. I was 46 years old when I found that out. Okay. Anyway. For your point. So, this is the eyeshadow palette. And if you look closely, you can see how hardly, how hardly, 
how much I dug in to this palette, trying to get some pigment. So you remember when e.l.f. was terrible? This is when e.l.f. was terrible. I don't know if they were trying to sell their leftover formula or something, but let me tell you, oh my goodness, this is the uh, face palette, bronzers and blushes, okay? And I literally tried every one of these. The only one with some kind of pigment for the bronzer was this one, the last one at the end. Um, again, this was not good. The video, and I mean, I tried every blush on the video, so that's the only bronzer at the end, and the only blush that had some kind of a pigment was the bright, bright pink one. Right? It looks bright, bright, bright pink in here, but when you put it on, you know, okay, so I can swatch it without blending it, you get some kind of brightness, right? But when you put it on your face, it's like, you know, it's there. But you would expect more because it looks so bright in a palette. But the other blush shades, girl, I even tried this one. Nothing. Like, it was just barely there. They're very, very dry. Very powdery. I mean, look at that. Like, just chalky and powdery and dry. And I was like, yes, Maggie. Okay, sh I don't know. Um, but not the best. Absolute crap. That, that's all I can say about that, that that is absolute. I got patients calling me at 6.30 in the night. Not good, okay? So that's the face palette with the blushes and the bronzer. So if you see it and you're going, ooh, this could be a good deal, spend your money, spend your $20 on something else at the pharmacy if you're looking for a good eyeshadow palette. Okay, I'm going to show you with this. Oh, my God. And it came with both, right? It came with this and the eyeshadow the eyeshadow, holy Hannah, let me tell you, like, some of these here, it was, it's just chalky and dry. It, I, I was like, Elf, what are you doing? You know, because they, they've been doing so good. I think I heard that somebody took over Elf or they got a new CEO or something like that. And that's why they've been rocking out some really good products. Like that yes, Maggie. That's why they've been rocking out some really good products. Um, but, okay. Let me just show you some. There's a lot of, first of all, these silver shades. There's a, like a lot of these silver shades here, right? Like through it all, you might have gotten, when I was swatching it, I think I maybe found five good shades. Um, and that's five between mattes and shimmers. It was just baloney, like terrible chalky oh my goodness dry you know anyway that's number 10 did not like this at all at all so if you see it and you're wondering about it you know um and i've seen them every year that's why i'm wondering like i've seen them every year i wonder if this is left over from when elf wasn't that great but this is what it looks like you know, I'm like, I couldn't even give it to Matt. <laughs> I'd give it to Madison to play with, but Madison knows so much about good makeup. She'd be like, why are you giving this baloney? But anyway, Mag is yours if you want it. She's like, no, stay away. Okay. All right. So that is number 10. All right. Where are we going to go next? I wonder. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Huda Beauty just came out with this. These, there's three palettes. I got the khaki, khaki one. Khaki, Huda Beauty. Open it up, Lisa. Here we go. So it looks like this. And what's funny is that Samantha March went and did a video using this. And hers came out great. And I'm like, really? Because I thought this was total baloney. You know, I think she got it in PR. Um, I'm like, did I use it wrong? Did I get a bad one? I didn't bring it back to Sephora. I should have, but I didn't, you know, and I'm like, did I get a bad one? Because I just thought this palette was terrible. You know, when you get that dried up mess on your shimmers, like it just looks like a dried up palette. I like, I, I'm digging in here to try to get some formula on my finger. But when I tried to put this on my eyes, 
It was just boo. Boo, 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 no good. Just boo. I mean, it looks okay right there, but when I put it on my eyes, like if you try to blend it, it goes away. You see that? You see how it, it's, um, what do you call it? Vaporizing or something like that. I did not like this palette. And I'm like, Huda Beauty, you know, you're supposed to be really good, right? I think I liked the mattes in it, but the shimmers were just boo. So, yeah, sorry, Huda Beauty. You're in my number nine. And I'm like, how did Samantha March get this here to work for her? Because, girl, I couldn't. And you can go back and watch this video. I do have this video. Uh, maybe I'll link them all down below in my description box. The ones that I did do a review on so you can see it. But I thought this was no good. No good. Okay. Now we're going to move to Viseart. I just did this video, I think it was last week. This is the Professional Makeup Petite Pro Soltis Palette. And you know Viseart has that name. Like people love Viseart. They talk about how great this is all the time. You know, it's a makeup artist brand kind of thing. I heard so many people, you know, talk how good Viseart is. This had my brain boggled when I reviewed this palette. Uh, it just, it was, oh my God, it was like terrible. The pigment on it was terrible. I mean, I'm really putting my finger in to get this here shim to come on my hand. And watch, okay, it's going to look good here. But when you put it on your eyes, it wasn't there. Like, it would go away. It would disappear. You know, it was like it evaporated into the air kind of thing. Um, same with the pigments. Like, the pigment, it, it wasn't very pigmented. You know, like, you expect a brand like Vizier with his, such a big, huge brand name, you know, up there with, like, Natasha Denona kind of thing. You would expect greatness, Right? There was no greatness with this whatsoever. No greatness. I was really, really surprised and really, really disappointed because this little tum this cost like forty dollars. Okay, Canadian. Yeah, I think it was like forty dollars without taxes. I believe. Yeah, not cheap and not good. How much was that khaki one? I think this one here was like thirty-seven dollars from Sephora. So that's like almost a hundred dollars. Well, a hundred dollars wasted between all three of these palettes, right? Okay, so that's number three. Now we're going to move on to this one, the Too Faced Salted Caramel Palette. Um, I don't know. I think this is in like $37, $38 too. Supposed to smell like salted caramel. It does, but make sure you bring your, your palette all the way up. Like all the way up to your nose. And I got it. Very good. <laughs> right. I don't edit my videos, everybody. This is the way it is. You got to put it. Can you smell it? Here, look. Smell it. All the way up to your nose. You literally got to, you know, you know, like I have a Tarte highlight palette. I don't know where it is. It's somewhere. But I can leave it here. <laughs> really? I can literally leave it on my desk and I can smell it. You know, that chocolate. Where's my blender mag? Madison's got my stuff all over the place. No, the one that I was using, the brown one. No, it's this one. No, I wasn't using that one. I was using a nude one. No, not that one either. Okay, it's okay. Go on. I don't know, but um, go in your bedroom. Thank you. Okay, found it. <laughs> Just to fix my nose. Rudolph knows it's Christmas time. Yeah. This was... Uh, it was like not as bad as the visor. Not as bad as Elf you know, or the Huda Beauty one, but still struggled with some pigment of it. You know what I mean? Um, I just, I don't know. I don't know if I was more disappointed over, I mean, it was, it's good. I don't want to say it's really, really bad. It's good. It's like, what are you at now? Number seven, right? 10, nine, eight. Okay. So number seven, it was good, not terrible like Elf. But I think I was really disappointed over the smell, honestly. Because um, I believe one of the mattes, I think this matte, matte here was kind of patchy. Um, but the other mattes turned out okay. So, do you know what I'm going to suggest? Because eventually you're going to find this at Winners. And I would suggest if you really want to try it, 
wait till it goes to winners and you get it for like 20 bucks. Some of the shades were good, some not so good, but it doesn't smell like Celtic Caramel unless you got it way up to your nose. And who's got time for that, right? You know, you tell me something's going to smell like something. I want it to smell like it. Now, some people don't like scented makeup, and everybody's different, you know, and that's okay, too. And if you don't like scented makeup, then you might like this because you really can't smell it unless it's up to your nose. Okay, that was number seven. Number six. six. Why do I feel like I am missing a palette? One, two... No, this is number five. Okay. Right. Because Elf was ten. Um, Kaki was... Kaki. Kaki was nine. Busy Art was eight. Salted Caramel was... One, two, three, four. Anyways, I don't know. Number six. We're at number six. Okay, so this is not a bad palette, per se. It's number six. This was 86 Canadian dollars without taxes, Okay. This is Wayne Goss's palette, and it's something that I regret buying. Um, and I mean, I wanted to buy it. I love Wayne Goss and all the hype and everything else. It's not a bad palette by any means. It's not. It's not as good as other palettes that I have. And, you know, he came out. This is his very first eyeshadow palette, luxurious brand. I mean, I even tried to sell this. No one buy it, right? Um... Yeah, like, I don't, I don't reach for it very often. I mean, I've tried it maybe three or four times. So there's the three mattes in the palette. They're good. They're good. They're pigmented. You know, they're good. This one here has a little bit of shimmer in it. And I kind of just went, it, it's more of, I think, not that it doesn't work and the formula doesn't work, but the price of it. You know, and I think now that I look back on it, I'm like, girl, I spent $100 on this freaking palette, you know, for six shades, you know, and I just look back on it now going, I, I, that was a waste of money, you know, unless you, unless you really like to support, you know, people on YouTube and stuff like that. Um, and I have to, you know, get my brain in gear and be reasonable about things, you know, and I just can't be purchasing these things anymore because I like the person. And that's just me, but everyone's different. Some people, you know, follow certain people on YouTube and that's okay too. I mean, that's your money. You do what you want with it, right? But for me, I regret this purchase. I really, really do. I regret it. Um, one thing, the shimmer right here, I find this one, like I really, really got to dig in. It's doing that dry thing. You know, when palettes dry up, like highlights or shimmers dry up on the palette and I'm like, that shouldn't be doing that for 86 Canadian dollars, right? And I really got to dig in to get the shim to come out. And it's like, I don't know, this one in particular, see, as I blend, it kind of, it's there, but it's not there. You know what I mean? It's like, it's almost evaporating. Um, then he's got, you know, the darker brown shimmer and a lighter shimmer, which I don't know, is this a matte? Is it a shimmer? I don't like it when brands come out with this kind of a shade because I never know what the heck it is. Is it a matte? Is it a shimmer? You know? And here is the other one. So, a nice neutral palette, but for me personally, for $86, I regret this purchase because, honestly, I don't think it was worth $86. And I know I'm buying the name Wingoss, and that's why I bought it because it's Wingoss's, right? Um, I know he's got a new palette out. He's coming out with a new palette. It's probably out on Beauty Bay already. I will not be purchasing it. Um, you know, no, I, I won't be purchasing it. Because I just think it's a lot of money for six eyeshadows that some of my color pops perform better. Honestly, to be honest. I think I was really, really excited because it was Wayne Goss and I got it and I was so excited for him. It's good, but it's not great, to put it that way. It's good, but it's not great. You can get some ColourPop for cheaper, much, much cheaper, like less than $20, that are just as good. So this is a purchase that I regret getting, and I'm not going to be doing this in the future. You know, I, I'm even if I love 
the person, the, you know, the YouTuber or whatever, I, I'm not going to be spending my money on stuff in the future that um, I might not use all the time. And I don't reach for this all the time. It's not one of those palettes that I reach for. Okay. Number four. <laughs> right. Oh, my goodness. All right. So I'm trying to figure out what my favorite is. And I'm going to go by what I reach for the most, which most of the times I reach for um, some of my color pops that I've had for the last few years, so I have to keep them out. But I'm going to say number four are these two from Natasha Denona. And I put them together because it's the Natasha Denona Glam Mini and it's the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. So I do reach for these a lot. Um, I'll open up the mini first. Now, my favorite Natasha Denona mini is the mini nude. What is it? Oh, yeah, the cat scratched me on my nose. If you guys have been wondering what that spot is, this cat scratched me and had it bleeding a few days ago. Anyway, so this is the Glam palette. It's what I got on my eyes today. Love this palette. This is a beautiful palette. It's a beautiful nude palette. I love this palette. It's the Natasha Denona Glam, but my favorite is the Natasha Denona nude. I use that often. I reach for it often. Um, I was going to pull out my Fenty True Neutrals, but I don't think I got that this year. I think it was the year before, so I didn't. Um, but yeah, one of my favorite minis that I've gotten from Natasha Denona, this one and the Nude palette. And they're almost the same, you know, but I do reach for my Nude much more than this one, but I do reach for this one. And I put them together because this is the bigger... Natasha Denona Glam Palette, and I mean, just look. This is stunning. It is stunning. It's all the neutral shades that I love. I love this palette, but it is number four because there's other palettes that I reach for more than this one. So, I mean, just to show you some, a couple of shimmers, beautiful. Like, you just can tell the moment you put your fingers in to swatch it, you can tell, you can feel it, you can feel the butteriness on your fingers when you go to swatch a Natasha Denona palette, like versus that Visor palette. It's just you can feel it on your fingers, right? The difference of the quality. And this is one of my favorite palettes. Love this. I mean, when I seen her come out and this is what it was looking like, I was like, I mean, that's right up my alley, you know? And like I said, I got the, I got the mini. A few more Natasha Denona minis, but this is the one that I knew and I'm happy to keep. It's my shades. She had the bronze palette too that came out this year. The bronze palette was really, really nice, but I don't usually wear the darker bronze shimmers. And there was a lot of dark bronze shimmers in that palette. I love the brown mattes that was in that palette, but I don't often wear the dark bronze uh, brown shimmers. And there was a lot in that bronze palette, but it was still beautiful pigmented blending all of that it was just not something that I would have reached for often so I brought that one back but this one girl this is staying you're staying honey bunny you're staying okay so that was number five right okay so number four this palette the rose period palette we got in a tribe beauty box sometime this year. I can't remember which month. It was February or April. I don't remember, but this is one of my most used palettes of 2020. This is from Suva Beauty. I love this palette. Oh my goodness. I love it. I love pinks. Love this palette. Look at that. I use this often. Sometimes I'll reach for this one and another one of my pinker palettes and use, you know, combine the shades and stuff. But yeah. This is one of my most used palettes. I would say that I've gotten from a subscription box. It's this one. I reached for this one. Um, honestly, there's not many in a subscription box that I've gotten that I reach for as much as I do this one. I think the other one would be another one that I got from Tribe um, recently, and that's the Pure one. That's a really, really nice palette, too. Um, so, yeah, Tribe. I don't have anything from BoxyCharm <laughs> that I've gotten. Hopefully, I get that Natasha Denona palette, and then I can say things have changed, you know. 
But right now, there's nothing from BoxyCharm that's in my favorites, right? Um, there's been a few BoxyCharms that was in my fails. Just with every one of them. But um, not for Tribe. This killed it. Love, love this one. Love it, love it. Super Beauty is so good. Number four. Okay. Number three. All that from ColourPop. I reach for this one often. Into. I used this one yesterday. Um, I used a bit of this one yesterday and my oh, one shade from my e.l.f. Bite Size Beauty I used yesterday on my video. But this is the All That and Then Some palette from ColourPop. Absolutely one of my favorite palettes I've gotten this year because I love pinks. I love like the darker pink. I love that pink. You know, and topping it off with like a light pink. I just love those colors. They're beautiful, stunning. And ColourPop is killing it. ColourPop is the jam. I mean, did anyone get um, the Raw Beauty Christie palette? The, that whole collab? I was debating it, but I don't know if I'm going to get it. Although I love Raw Beauty Christie. Absolutely adore her. I don't know, you know, I have to look, I was looking at it going, but is it 80% shades? Will I use 80% shades? Will I reach for this palette all the time? And that's where I'm trying to keep my mind focused is I love her, you know, she's fabulous, but I didn't buy it. And I'm trying to go, you know, spend your money wisely, you know what I mean? Only buy things that you know you're going to like um, and that's what I have to start doing, you know, only buying things that I know I'm going to like and use. Otherwise, I'm wasting a lot of money and, you know, I'm buying everything from my pocket, right? So, but this one, if you like pinks, this is a stunning, stunning palette from ColourPop. One of my favorites. Um, reach for that one often. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot to put that back in there. Okay, so what is that now? Number three? Natasha was number five. This is number four. We're at number three. And crackers, because I got an honorable mention. So I'll honorably mention that in a minute. All right. This is number three. It's these two palettes from Tarte. Not the pink one. I didn't really like this pink one right here. The Tarte look a little juicy. Um, I just found that, I don't know, it, it wasn't... The shimmers weren't as shimming for me, and the mattes were good, but the shimmers weren't, like, giving me all that in a bag of chips. You know what I mean? When I tried it, I wasn't gonzo over it, but it's still nice. But um, out of that three set, because you get three of them at Sephora for 64 Canadian dollars, and it's still there. Tarte just came out with it, you know, the Christmas thing. So there's this one, Little Bloom. Love this. Hello, Lisa. Hello. Look at that dark brown. Oh, my God. That, what do you call it? Like a cappuccino or something. Love that. Shimmers are stunning. And then you got also the little toast it. If I can get it out. I mean, look at those mattes, though. Look at those colors. Like this and this. Bam. You know? Love it. Love it. Love it. So, number three. Definitely. I think this was a great job by Tarte, which is surprising because if you've been with me for a long time, like I said, I have said over and over again, Tarte makes the worst eyeshadow palettes ever. But this, they did this, in my personal opinion, very, very good. Oh my God, I'm 33 minutes. Holy crap, Lisa, shut up. Okay, number two, Bare Necessities from ColourPop. Again, girl, you know I love me some ColourPop. Um, this got all those beautiful neutral shades. I reach for this often. Not as much as I reach for some of my other color pops, but it's there. Or I'll take it out because I need one shade to go with something else, you know? Or if I'm stuck looking for something, I know I just got to open that up and it's got everything there I need. And I am a neutral girl. This is a stunning palette. Yay, ColourPop. I love you, man. I just... I mean, what a difference, like putting your fingers in here compared to putting it into Too Faced even. It's just butter, you know? It's like, hello, 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 how's your day? How you doing? Nice to meet ya. You know, 
drop the mic, right? Love it. That's number two. Okay, my number one palette of the year, I bought it a couple of months ago, or maybe a month ago, a month and a half ago, I don't know. But man, do I love this palette. I wear this probably since I've gotten it at least three times a week. It's this one. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Number no. 2. It's their mini. I freaking love this palette. Love the way it feels. Nice and velvety, you know. Um, they do have a full size of this palette. She gets in a mess, that's for sure. But look, well, you can tell I've been digging into this palette, right? Especially in these two shimmers. But every shade, I love this whole palette. Love it. This mulberry, girl, mm, love, right? The dusty rose, yes, girl. Then you got orange soda, another beautiful matte, you know, um, incense, beautiful, you know. I love this palette. I think it's stunning. I absolutely love it. Um very happy that I got it. You know, it's the only Anastasia Beverly Hills palette that I own. And I don't need any more. Honestly, I got this one. And I love minis. And that's the best part. It's a mini. You know, like, I love my ColourPop, but it's so darn big. So darn big. Minis all day, every day, all day long. So that's my top 10 favorites and fails of 2020 for eyeshadow palettes. I haven't seen anything that I've wanted to buy that's coming out. Um, let me know in the comments down below. Do you like any of these palettes? Is there any palettes that I didn't like that you do like? Um, what would be in your top 10, you know? And, uh, yeah, don't forget, I will be live tomorrow night, Saturday, Toronto, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Come by, say hello, and uh, I'll see you in my next video. Oh, my God, it's 37 minutes. Ah.